Hi, it's Nancy L.T. Hamilton again with tips of the day. Today I'm going to talk about what to do with a piece of wood. Now, I know most people don't have pieces of wood laying around the yard, but there's tons of dumpsters and there's even um, Home Depot or other places that will give you scraps of wood from short ends that they cut off for customers. Um, also, you can get dowels at Home Depot or Michaels or other craft stores. Um, as I said in my other videos, I'm always looking for a, an interesting way to solve problems that doesn't cost any money. And here's one that I came up with for my studio. I teach often and I wanted to have uh, plier holders for people. So what I did, all I did was I, I got myself a little uh, skill saw and I cut little chunks of wood. I made sure they were the same size, drilled a hole in each end and glued a rod in. And now I have great um, plier holders. You can make them as long as you want. Just remember the longer you get all that weight on it, they start to sag. So you, you don't want to go too long. So make sure you measure your dowel and match your dowel size to your drill bit size. That's a big tip there. If you're not a real carpenter person, there's not much lost if you screw this up. Try it. It's easy. Okay. Here are some other things to do with pieces of wood. Um, this one is just a block for holding all my odds and ends that I didn't find a place for and I drilled various sizes I just got a bunch of different size drill bits and drilled holes and whatever fit in there I put it in there things that don't fit in God, look at all the cat fur um, I just lay on top of it this is convenient because I work with several other materials and I want to make sure these are my metal tools same with this I this one was a little labor, more laborious I literally drilled all these holes but each time I needed this size, I'd put this drill bit in. When I needed this size, I'd put that drill bit, etc., etc. So um, I changed the drill bit a lot on uh, with my flex shaft. But now I, ha I can find these. I know how many I have left, and I even wrote the sizes and the number for reordering with my vendor. Another one. This is one of the tools that's saving my desk that looked like it was attacked by wood ants. Um, this is my drilling block now that I made, and I think I need to make a bigger one. I drilled some holes to put some of my tools that I use frequently in that area. Obviously, not that, but it just was convenient. And I also put a little brass block in here, which I cut out with um, uh, little uh, gravers and uh, cutoff discs, and then glued the brass in. It's for when I do my dapping uh, for making whole, um, dents before I drill in my pieces with the... Uh, the, I used the little hole punch guy, uh, not a hole punch, but nail set. So when I go to, to make a dent on a piece before I drill, I put it on here. If you put it on wood and you hammer it, it can make a big divot in your piece. So this keeps, the brass keeps it from making too big of a dent. I use this all the time, as you can see, lots of holes, even domes to, to drill uh, half domes in. And that, that can be made with a round drill bit a round ball burr and that can make a nice circle cut out. Um, last thing I'm going to show you today that you can do with a block of wood is a file holder and this I just found a drill bit size that fit the end of the file and drilled it in. They're not pretty but they really work and I use them all the time. So that's tips for the day with Nancy LT Hamilton. I hope you come and see us again. Thanks a lot.